A very warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining us in this tutorial where we are going to learn how to use Task 8. Again, also in this tutorial, we are also going to be learning how to use Taskhead AI. So if you are looking for either tutorial on Taskhead or Taskhead AI, this is the place to be. So to get to Taskhead, you simply go to taskhead.com and then you get to these websites. And uh, to register an account, you simply come at the top here. You click on sign up for free. Then you put your email here, then the username and the password. And then you click on sign up. And then you complete this process, simply adding the details you need. It takes me to my dashboard. And this is how your dashboard should look like for task aid. On the left hand side, we have the recent. So if you click on recent, you'll be able to get any started that you have opened recently. Under my task, this way you create your tasks and I'll be showing you that shortly. Then we have the calendar here where you can basically schedule in your calendars. Then you can star your projects so that you are able to see your favorites. And then this is where you can access your projects that have been shared with you. And then this is where you create your workspace. With the free version of task aid, you are only able to create one workspace. So if you need more, you may need to go for the paid version. So if now I click on my workspace here, this is the workspace that I'm going to work from. I can create projects, I can create tasks, roadmap templates, and I can also see the completed here. So to create a new project, I simply can use generate with AI. And this is what I said about using Taskade AI. I can create a new list, new board, new mind, new mind map, or a new action. So let me create a new project. I click on new project and with task aid, I can do it manually where I can click on new project but I can also use Taskhead AI. So let me first use the Taskhead without AI. Then I'll show you how to use the first one here, which is Taskhead AI Generator. So I'll click on New Project down here. Then I add my title there. I'll call this project Photoshoot. And then I can assign this project to someone. I click on Assign down here. Then Currently, I'm the only one in this workspace. I assign it to myself. I can add the due date. I simply click on the due date. Then maybe the due date is 21st. I click on that and click on set. And so now I have my photo shoot project there. Then down here, you notice I can click the space for AI or the slash for commands. So I'll be explaining the one for slash first. Then we can come to the AI later from the word go that is from the top how we create the project. So if I put the stroke there, that is for the command, I'm able now to access the AI assistant, the subtask, the brainstorm, outline, expand, or rewrite. So if now I come here and put the command there by putting the stroke, you notice I can have AI assistant to create for me subtasks, brainstorm, outline, expand, rewrite, or summary. So I will now just create an outline how to do photo shoot, I just click on outline. And then here I type the prompt and choose an option below. So here I want to now put the prompt here, doing a photo shoot. And what do I need with that? I need to have an outline. I click on outline. So here I'm now using AI to get my outline. And you notice how fast it is generating. You notice it's actually generating up to the end. So you simply give it time. It may generate a lot of data, a lot of content, but all this is editable. So you notice I have all it here. So sure, I can help you create an outline on that topic in Markdown format. So doing a photo shoot, that is how to do a photo shoot, preparing for the photo shoot, and you notice determining the purpose of the photo shoot, choosing the location, all this is under preparation for a photo shoot. So I can go to point number two, organize the logistics and tells me what to organize in terms of logistics, that is secur securing any necessary permits. I can go to the third one, setting up the shoot, you scout and prepare the location, you set up the lighting and the equipment. So if I'm happy with that, I click on inserts. And that will have all that what has been generated inserted into my project on how to do photo shoot. 
So notice now in my project here, I have it inserted there. Now the beauty with TaskAid AI and TaskAid is that from here, I can even do the allocation. For instance, let me say in preparation for the photo shoot, maybe this project we are several people, I want someone who will prepare, who will do the preparing for the photo shoot to be different from the person who will do organizing the logistics. So what do I do? I simply come to preparing for the photo shoot and on the left hand side, you notice we have a plus sign. If I click on that, you notice I can have the due date, I can assign, I can add a comment, I can upload, I can embed, I can use a timer or a reaction. So let me say I want to assign someone in terms of preparing the photo shoot. For the photo shoot, I click on assign. I'm the only one currently on this workspace, so I'll assign that to myself. So I'll click on assign to. So you now notice here, preparing for the photo shoot, we have assigned to Josh254. If now I click on the plus sign there, I can set other things, like I can make a comment, I can upload a file and all this. So I want to add the due date for preparation. I click on add due date, then maybe the due date will be 21st. Then I can add a notification down here. I can also decide about the timer at the event, at the time of event, or maybe 10 minutes or five minutes before the event, I get a reminder or a notification, then I click on save. So you now notice under preparation for the photo shoot, I have the two assigned and I can do all that for the others. And if I feel maybe a certain point is not necessary, maybe arranging for transportation to the location, maybe this one, I don't need it. I simply click on these three dots and then I click on delete. Down here, delete. So you notice now that has been deleted. So that is how you create a project on TaskEd and how you also use the TaskEd AI to just have your content generated down here. So if you will see on your left hand side here, you have Taskade AI where you can ask anything and then you get the ideas here. So you'll notice for instance, we have brainstorming, press, release, blog, post, research plan and all that. So if I click on project plan, that create a tree structured markdown project life cycle plan for, then I can type what structure I need. Maybe I need that project plan for planting, planting corn. I just type that here. Then I click on search. You will notice how it will generate for me that. Look at that. It's generating all that such that now I'll be adding that to my project here. Create a tree structured markdown project life, life cycle plan template for planting corn. So you notice here on the Taskade AI, it has all these details to view them better. Or if I want to use this plan that has been generated, I simply come down here and click on add project. So you now notice our project has planting corn, project lifecycle plan, and then it has phase one, pre-planting preparation, where you determine the planting area and the soil suitability, and then test the soil for the nutrient levels and pH balance. If now I click back home, you notice we can also have other things. We can view a new list or new board. But another thing that is important for you is the new mind table. So if I click on new mind table, it brings me here where I can add a project title and I can get the new mind table here. So let me add a project title here and call it wedding video shoot. Then down here on this other side, you notice I can press space for AI, but I can also press slash for commands. So I'll click there and put the space for AI so that I can now get type the prompt here and get help about the wedding video shoot. So by doing this one, I'll talk about the prompt wedding video shoot plan. And then if I need subtasks or uh, brainstorm or generate questions or the outline, I can just get that. So let me create subtask. I click on subtask so that it generates for me the subtasks. And so there are my subtasks generated. And if I'm satisfied with them, I click on replace. So you notice now our subtasks have been added on that. So we have our video editing project. Then we have the subtasks generated here. You notice we have the tasks, for instance, film pre-wedding preparations 
record ceremony, including the procession, vows, and exchange of rings. So you notice now we have a mind picture table here of what will happen for that wedding. We can still expand on this. For instance, if I come to capture the couple's portraits and I click on that arrow there, you notice I can still give subtasks or I can generate questions for that. So that is how you generate a mind table for this in the new workspace. And so that is how you generate all that with Taskade and Taskade AI. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel.